a new aircraft carrier, the TAF-003, currently under construction in Shanghai, is the most visible sign that China's navy is rapidly expanding in size. It is larger than China's two current aircraft carriers and differs in key respects. But observers seem to like to compare the ship with the U.S. Navy's newest aircraft carriers, the Ford class. Aircraft carriers are a strategic priority for the world's leading navies. Experienced navies such as the British Royal Navy, French Navy, and Indian Navy are on the process of acquiring or equipping new aircraft carriers. Japan, South Korea, and other potential countries are on taking steps to join the aircraft carrier club. But nowhere is the effort more evident than in China. The Chinese Navy has commissioned two aircraft carriers based on the design of Russia's Admiral Kuznetsov class. But the third aircraft carrier, the TAF-003, promises to take the People's Liberation Army Navy to the next level. The U.S. Navy, which has been the world leader for decades in this technology, is also modernizing with a new class of super carriers. The first fourth class ship, USS Gerard R. Ford CVN-78, entered service in 2017. Despite some initial problems, it is still the largest and most modern aircraft carrier in the world. The TAF-003 is very close in size to the U.S. Navy's aircraft carriers, and although the definition is vague, it seems fair to describe it as a supercarrier. The latest images of the TAF-003 allow observers to see the size and layout of the ship and compare it with Ford. The Chinese ship is about 320 meters long, about 13 meters shorter than Ford, and it seems that the TAF-003 is even shorter if you put the two ships side by side. Chinese ship has an aerial flight deck, is approximately 73 meters wide, is very similar to the early TAF-001 and TAF-002 aircraft carriers. There could be logistical reasons for this, such as dock size, or it may simply be that Chinese planners are satisfied with the width of the current carriers. The big change from current carriers is its Caterpillar system, Caterpillar assisted takeoff but arrested recovery, while the first two are Storber, short takeoff but arrested recovery. Like Ford, the TAF-003 is set to use an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMORS, instead of a steam caterpillar. This will promise greater initial speed for the aircraft. For China, this is a huge step forward in naval technology. TAP-003 will have three caterpillars two in the bow and one in the midship. This is one less than the Ford, which, like previous American aircraft carriers with four steam caterpillars. With the new caterpillars, it will allow TAF-003 to operate new types of aircraft, 
a new fixed wing airborne early warning and control aircraft, KJ-600, is expected to enter service on the TAF-003. Other new aircraft are expected to include a carrier-based version of the FC-31 or J-31 stealth fighter, a full-size mock-up of the new aircraft carrier accompanied by the FC-31 fighter jet recently appeared at the test site in Wuhan. The aircraft will generally be equivalent to the force F-35C Lightning II. However, the FC-31 has two engines and may have a larger internal weapons bay. It is likely that this new Chinese aircraft will take some time to enter service, so the TAF-003 will probably start operating with the J-15 fighters. My video about the Chinese TAP-003 carrier answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.